Let's find out how noisy are these boxes. My name is Igor and you're watching my tech farm. In my last video I tested these filament dryers. Uh, I was measuring the dry capabilities and the temperature. And uh, at the end of the test experiment, uh, when I turn off the main switch, uh, I realized one important thing. Oh, it's quiet now, finally. Yes, there are two important specifications I didn't talk about. One is the price and the second is the noise. Now, the price you will pay only once, but the noise <laughs> that will get back to you each time you turn on these uh, filament dryers. And don't forget that drying a filament may take several hours, maybe even 12 hours, depending on the type of the filament. And um, if you can isolate it in a separate room, it's okay. But for example, uh, I use the dryers in my workroom, sometimes during the printing, so the noise is an important uh, factor for me. Uh, how will I measure? Well, I will use this uh, sound level meter I got from Banggood. Uh, I did a review of this a few weeks ago. And uh, I will place it on exactly uh, one meter distance uh, in the same level as the filament dryer. And I noticed it is some kind of directional microphone, so it will be pointed uh, directly to the tested object. And it doesn't have the uh, thread for the uh, tripod, but I printed this uh, holder so it will be fixed on a tripod. I will not hold it in my hand. And um, that information will be uploaded to my website uh, next to those uh, drying capabilities. Uh, but for you in this video, because these are not just numbers, uh, I will record uh, with this uh, Sony camera, I will place a shotgun microphone here on the top. And what is more important, I will set the audio uh, microphone level to the manual. Uh, because in automatic mode it will always adjust depend on the surrounding noise uh, and if it is on manual, in that case the noise, the sound will be comparable with each other uh, from this test. It is almost midnight so if I am quiet then you will see it is below the measuring range. I already tested from one meter, it is below the measuring range. So I, uh, my standard for the measuring will be exactly half meters, but from the closest point of the box. So the first dryer is uh, Isan E-Box from Sunlu. This is their older version and uh, it has a fan and probably you will hear some click sound, which is the electromagnetic relay, which turns the heater element on and off. And now it is on level 4, that's the maximum value. Of course it is louder when it's opened, but uh, I will measure only this way, because this is how you will use it, closed. Not sure, can you hear the click sound? The next one is uh, E-Box Lite. This is actually improved version, uh, but uh, now it doesn't have that electromechanic relay, but it's some kind of solid state relay probably, because I cannot hear that click sound, but it also has the fan. The next one is Sunlo and it doesn't have the fan, but let's test it. That's it, <laughs> below the lowering range. The next one is the Sovol 3D and it, this also has a fan.
But after a few minutes it started with the work. So well, it looks like it is around 30 decibels and now let's see if it is open. And now we close it again. The next one is the Creality. Here we cannot adjust the temperature, just turn the timer and it will start with the work. This is how it sounds when it's opened. And now the iBoss. Here you can also hear a click sound from time to time, especially on lower temperatures that click sound turns on and off every 10 or 15 seconds. I can't hear a too big difference even the cover is down. Now when it is on full power, now on 70 degrees Celsius, it uh, constantly uh, blows the air and the heater is properly always on. Uh, but if I reduce it to, I don't know, 50 degrees Celsius because you want to dry a PLA, in that case uh, you can hear that uh, click sound and turning on and off every 15 seconds. Now I will start here a stopwatch so you can follow. I was informed by iBoss that uh, this problem will be solved, they will reduce the rotation speed, not to turn off the fan, and they will use some kind of solid state rally instead of this uh, electromechanic one. Now let's listen to them one after the other, and I will increase the volume by 10 decibels for a better comparison. These are the results from the sound level meter and uh, zero with the sound load uh, means that it is below the measuring range but it really didn't uh, produce any, any kind of the noise. I saw the results the numbers tell you everything so I don't have to talk about the conclusions. All I have to do is to upload these numbers on my website next to those uh, drying capabilities uh, which I got from the previous video. And if you think it makes sense, I could create some similar uh, video about CD printers. Only I have to choose which six or seven printers you want me to include in this video. I will create a poll down in the description. If the link is still there, then the question is active. So from, my, from that list, uh, which six or seven printers you want me to include in that noise level comparison. And about the sound level meter from the Banggood, I really like it. It's quite cheap tool and useful, at least for me. Uh, I will place an affiliate link down in the description to this and uh, I did a review video uh, or at least watched that video because that video got only 400 views and Banggood is a little bit disappointed. I don't care about the commission but I like this cooperation I have with uh, Banggood. And one more time uh, let's uh, listen to these boxes but now all at the same time. And now let's turn them off in the same time. <laughs> <laughs> 